All right. Good morning. Today we are going to be doing a core and more class. So let's just start moving again any way you'd like. You can follow along with me or you can do your own thing. I just want you to start moving. Again, as I always say in the beginning of this class, if we're going to do a combination of the whole body, but a focus on the core. So with every exercise we do, no matter if it focuses more on the legs or the arm, we're going to make our focus on the core. So again, it'll be a range of easier core exercises to harder core exercises. You might think one's harder than the other. You might think one's easier than which I think is the easier one. But um, just feel free to do whatever feels comfortable. As long as you're not hurting your back, we're gonna do a lot of pelvic tilts. I'll remind you of that throughout the class. But here, let's do a little twist to just warm up the core since we're talking about it. If this feels okay, good. And deep breath in and out, good. All right, so let's start with, we're going to do a toe tap. So we've done like a couple of different ones. One where we bring our leg up, but right now we're just going to have our arms up in the air. We're going to have a slight bend in the knee. We're going to bend down, tap our left toe and slowly come back up. So really trying to keep a pelvic tilt when you get to the top and make sure you're not arching your back. So we're going to slowly tap the left toe, come back up and slowly tap the right toe. So nice and slow and controlled. We're just warming everything up still, but we'll consider this our first exercise. Good, keep breathing. We're gonna tap each side eight times. Good, keep breathing. Again, make sure when you get to the top, you have a nice pelvic tilt. You're drawing your belly button in, no arching in the lower back. Good. All right, tap two more on each side. Again, nice and steady. So you're engaging that core. Good. Awesome. One more on each side. Good. And last one. All right, you can let your arms go down. Now we're going to do a leg exercise, but we're gonna focus on core and balance at the same time. So if you wanna hold on to something, feel free to do so. What we're gonna do is pelvic tilt, lift one leg up, we're gonna extend it and bring it back in. So not only are we focusing on the quad, but we're really gonna focus on keeping that pelvic tilt the whole time to use our core to help us stand upright. If you need a little assistance by the wall or the counter, totally fine as well. All right, ready, pelvic tilt. Leg up, extend, and bend. Again, I'll remind you as you go on, make sure you keep that pelvic tilt and you don't arch your back, really drawing that belly button in. Good. Make sure that standing leg has a slight bend in the knee. Good. And you're using your core to hold yourself up, help you with your balance. Even if you're holding on a little bit, that's fine. Good. Three more and then we'll switch. Check on the pelvic tilt, draw that belly button in. Good. And last one. Awesome. Okay, give both legs a shake. So you're sure gonna feel that in your legs as well. All right, we're gonna switch sides. Same thing, before you start, think pelvic tilt. Standing on one leg, slight bend in the knee, lifting your leg up, extend and bend. Good. Focusing on standing up tall. Like I say with the calf raises, pretend like there's a string pulling you up towards the ceiling. This time it's holding you up at the ceiling. So it's just keeping you upright. Good. Keep that pelvic tilt. Draw the belly button in. Good. We're halfway on this side. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. 11 and 12. All right, give those legs a nice shape. We'll go back to the alternating toe touches 
And again, if it, I didn't mention this in the beginning, but if it bothers your arms to stay up like this, you can keep them out in front of you instead, or just keep them down if it bothers you to hold them up like this. All right, let's go back to it. Hands up if you'd like, slight bend in the knee, pelvic tilt at the top, bending down, tap and slowly come back up. Really thinking about your core when you're coming back up instead of just like whipping yourself back up to standing. Nice and slow, pelvic tilt at the top. Good. All right, we're gonna end up tapping each toe eight times. This is our third. Good. Good. Keep breathing. Pelvic tilt at the top. Make sure you're not arching that back. It's easy to do so, especially when you get to the top. You want to just arch that back up, but really making sure you're drawing your belly button in. Good. You got this. All right, three more on each side. Awesome. Good, keep breathing. All big tilt at the top. Good, awesome. Last one on each side, you got this. Good, and last one, and up. Awesome, all right, again, so I, if you're holding those arms up the whole time, they're probably a little bit tired by the end of that. All right, we're gonna go back to the leg extension. So again, pelvic tilt first, drawing the belly button in, standing on one leg, slight bend in that standing leg. We'll lift the opposite leg up. Again, string attached to your head, one. Feel free to hold on to the wall or a counter or anything to assist you with your balance so you can focus more on the core. Good. Keep breathing, four. Good, five, six, check on the pelvic tilt, seven, eight, being as tall as you can, good, last three, two, and one, awesome, okay, give both legs a nice shake, we'll switch to the other side, all right, first thing, pelvic tilt, standing on one leg, slight bend in the knee, lift that leg up, we'll extend out and back in. Again, as tall as you can be, good. Pelvic tilt, pulling, drawing that belly button in, holding yourself up, whether it be just by standing here or holding on to help you stand up a little taller, Good, halfway, you got this. Good. Good, keep breathing, check on the pelvic tilt, last four. Three, two, and one. All right, give those legs a nice little shake. All right, for the next one, if you have a dumbbell with you, go ahead and grab it, because we're going to be doing Again, pelvic tilt, punching straight out and back in. All right, so again, you can feel free to do this without any weight at all if you feel more comfortable. But basically, we're going to be using our core to stabilize our whole body and the only thing that should be moving are our arms. So, standing with your feet together, slight bend in the knee, pelvic tilt, so tucking your butt under, drawing your belly button in, We'll have the weight at about chest height. We'll punch straight out and straight back in. Good. And again, you don't have to like lunge forward or anything. Your body should not move. The only thing that should be moving are your arms. So we're holding the rest of our body tight by using that pelvic tilt. Good. And again, you can do this without any weight if it bothers your arms. But our main focus is on that core. As I said, this is a core and more class. Good. Awesome, four more. Check on that pelvic tilt. Make sure you're holding everything together. Good, last two. And 12. Awesome, 
All right, keep that dumbbell because what we're gonna do next is a cross body chop. So this is again, kind of gonna work your whole body, but we're focusing on the obliques, AKA the sides of our core. So we're gonna bring our legs apart, get back up a little, slight bend in the knee. And again, you can use your legs to help you, especially when you come from your left hip, you can have a little bend in the legs, then we're going to go diagonal across our body over our right shoulder. So instead of like using your back to lean forward, you can use the assistance of your legs, but just slowly come across so you're feeling it on that left side of your core. All right, we're gonna do 12 on each side. So ready? Start at the left hip, diagonal over the right shoulder, and slowly back down. Again, using those legs to Good, nice and slow, no whipping. Three, keep breathing. And same with this one at the top, making sure you have a pelvic tilt and your back is not arching. Good, five. Good, six. Keep breathing, you got this, seven. Eight, good. Nine. Ten. Good check on that pelvic tilt. Last two. And 12. Awesome. All right, we're going to switch to the other side. So, again, use those legs as assistance. Right hip diagonal cross over your left shoulder. Good. Slowly back down. Good. Two. Good, nice and steady. Pelvic tilt at the top. Good. Four. Five. Six, good, keep breathing. You got this. Seven. Good. Eight. Awesome, again, make sure you have that pelvic tilt at the top. You're not arching your back. You don't wanna feel this in your lower back. Awesome. Good, last two. And one more. Awesome. All right, good job. All right, we're gonna go between those two one more time. So we'll do the core push out, or punch out, sorry, and then the cross body chop. And we'll head to the floor. Some more fun stuff down there. All right, so again, feet together, slight bend in the knee, pelvic tilt, weight at your chest, punching straight out and back in. So the goal is to keep everything else stable as your arms are moving out. Three, good, four, five, Awesome, keep breathing. Check on that pelvic tilt, we're halfway. Seven. Eight. Good. Nine. 10. 11. And 12. Awesome, okay. We have that cross body chop again, so get ready. We're gonna bring our legs apart. Slight bend in the knee. We're gonna come from our left hip. Diagonal cross over our right shoulder. Good. Again, you're focusing on the sides of your core too. Good. Again, using your legs to come down so you're not using your lower back, which we do not wanna do. Good. Make sure you have that pelvic tilt at the top. Awesome. Good. Six, nice and steady, using your whole body to help you. Awesome, almost there. The last four, then we'll switch to the other side. You got this. Good. Last two, nice and slow. And one more. Awesome. All right, we're gonna do the other side. 
So right hip, diagonal across over your left shoulder. Slowly back down, good. Really focusing on the side of your core, good. Three, nice, keep breathing. Pelvic tilt at the top, four. Five. Good, six. Seven. Good, eight, you're almost there, four more. Nine. Ten. Eleven. And twelve. All right, nice job. Feel free to grab some water, take a deep breath. You can do that anyway, but we're going to slowly head to the floor. Take your time. We'll give it a minute or so. Get everyone settled down. Take your time. No rush. I'll get set up down here if I can wait. see the camera so you can see me. All right. And if you get there already, just you can do a little side to side knees. So as I get down here, I'm going to just bring my knees side to side. Again, you can just lay there if you want to, but if you want to do a little side to side, kind of stretch out the core a little bit. All right, awesome. So what we're going to do, which we did this, I think a couple weeks ago in class, people seem to like it, like it in the sense of a core exercise. But what we're gonna do is slow bike, to fast spike. So again, same as when we were standing, making sure we have that pelvic tilt. In this sense, we want to flatten that lower back to the floor. So there shouldn't be any space between your back and the floor. So we're going to be doing, so you can, you don't have to start yet, but basically what we're going to do is pedal, 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 slow, slow, slow. Pedal, pedal, pedal. So three fast pedals, three slow pedals. Um, and we're gonna end up doing um, six of each. So six slow triplet of bicycles and three fast ones. So anyway, that probably made it more complicated. So you can just follow along. All right, so again, most important is you have that pelvic tilt. Bring those legs up. We'll bike one, two, three, slow, slow, slow. Yeah. One, two, three. Slow, slow, slow. Bike one, two, three. Slow, slow, slow. Check on the pelvic tilt. Fast, fast, fast. Slow, slow, slow. Good. Fast, fast, fast. Slow, slow, slow. One more. Fast, fast, fast. Slow, slow. Slow. All right. Now you might want to do that little side to side. Again, only if it feels okay. We are going to switch between that. We will come back to it. Don't worry. You won't have to miss out on it. Is we're going to do a side to side heel tap, focusing again on those oblique muscles. So we're going to try to lift up a little bit and tap from side to side. The thing with this one, is I don't want you to feel any tension in your neck. So if you want to do it just on the ground without lifting your neck, you're still going to feel it. You're just not going to feel it as much as if you come up into a mini little crunch and we're going to go from side to side. But again, if that starts to bother your neck, I want you to come back down and do the bottom one. Or second option is bringing those legs up and just tapping from side to side without doing that lift. Your choice, as long as you don't hurt your neck or anything else, but especially your neck. Okay, we're gonna tap each side 12 times or tap each leg 12 times if you're doing the other exercise. All right, ready and go. Two, three, four, five, six, Seven, 
eight, good, nine, 10, 11, and 12. All right, let yourself rest for a second, just a second, because we're gonna go back to the slow and fast bicycles. So same thing, six and six. All right, again, make sure you have that pelvic tilt ready and fast, 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 slow, slow, slow. Good, pedal, 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 slow, slow, slow. Pedal, 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 slow, slow, slow. Good, keep that pelvic tilt, good. Awesome, two more, pedal, 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 slow, 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 last one, pedal, 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 slow, slow, and slow. All right, let those feet drop, and do a little side to side, releasing that back. All right, now we're gonna go back to the side to side heel, or again, you don't wanna lift your neck, or your, not your neck, your core, we're gonna tap from side to side without lifting your head. Okay, ready and go. One, two, three, good, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Awesome, all right, give yourself a rest. Two more things we're gonna do and then we're gonna stretch. We're gonna do 30 seconds of flutters and 30 seconds of scissors with a rest in between. And then we'll stretch. We're almost done. So let me get my timer out here. Oops. All right, we'll start with the flutter kicks. Again, you decide how low or high you wanna go as long as you can keep your lower back flat. All right, ready and go. All right, fluttering. Again, keeping that lower back flat. If it starts to come up, you can bring your legs up higher or you can just take a little break. Good. We got this, keep breathing. We're halfway there. Good. Awesome, keep breathing. Check on that pelvic tilt, 10 seconds. Good. Three, two, one. Awesome, all right, we have one more 30 second exercise and then a nice little stretch. Okay, so this time we're gonna crisscross our legs and do scissors for 30 seconds. We'll give ourselves another like 10 second rest. And then again, same thing, pelvic tilt, you decide how high or low you wanna go. We'll start in, let's see, oops, three, two, one. Good, crisscross. Again, you can come up higher, come down lower, you can go up and down, whatever feels comfortable, as long as your lower back is flat. Good. We're halfway. You got this. Almost there. Good. Almost there. Three, two, one. Awesome. All right, we'll do a nice little stretch. Again, feel free to repeat these stretches again and only do the ones that feel comfortable. For a longer stretch, check out our stretch or relaxation videos. But for right now, now open our arms up, bring both knees over to one side. Good. Nice little spinal twist. Again, only if it feels okay. Deep breath in and out. Deep breath in and out. Good. Slowly bringing the knees over to the opposite side. Deep breath in and out. Good. Deep breath in and out. All right, coming onto your back again, grabbing both knees in towards your chest, kind of rocking side to side again, if it feels okay. Keep breathing. 
and release one of those legs out. Good. All right. We're going to switch legs. Extending that opposite leg out. Right. We're going to let both legs go, arms above our head, stretching out our whole body. All right, we're going to slowly make our way onto our knees. Again, only if it feels okay. We're going to do a optional child's pose and cobra. Again, only if this feels okay. But basically, for the first one, we're going to come onto our knees. We're going to reach forward and stretch out as much as you can, stretching out the back, the arms. Good. And we're going to come up into Cobra and come up onto the front of our legs. Open up our chest. Again, only if this feels comfortable, especially sometimes it bothers people's back. So if it does, skip this one. Just stay in the child's pose, or just keep breathing and sitting where you are. All right, we're gonna push back down into child's pose. All right, come into any seated position you'd like, and we're just going to swing our arms forward and back, roll the shoulders back. Again, keep breathing, we'll roll them forward. All right, and we're gonna slowly make our way up to standing. Again, take your time. All right, once we're here, we're gonna do a nice big head roll. Again, only if it feels okay, nice and slow, all the way around. Other way. Good. Slight bend in the knee, letting your whole body fall forward, releasing any tension, swaying side to side, grabbing onto the elbows. Again, trying to let go of any tension in your back or neck. We'll slowly roll up. Deep breath in and out. Three more deep breaths in. And out, arms behind your back. Good, two more deep breath in. And out. Last one, deep breath in. And behind your back and out. All right, awesome job, everyone.